Good morning, everybody. Sports Live in the ATL. David here on this uh, Tuesday. Um, anyways, uh, I promised everybody I was going to try to do a premiere this week on uh, Falcon Saints game memories. In the Atlanta version, the Atlanta wins because the New Orleans Saints have put us through a lot of tough losses. But I want to look at the positive. Uh, before I do that, uh, I want to thank everybody for coming to my channel, supporting my channel. The Road to 3K is still on, and uh, I cannot do it without each and every one of you, so I do appreciate it. Support the channel any way that you'd like to uh, during my live streams, my premieres. I do have Super Chat. That's the dollar sign below. If you care to support the channel that way, that would be very much appreciated. Um, any amount is appreciated. I do not mention any of this uh, during the lives but I, or premieres, but I do occasionally I will post the PayPal link. PayPal goes directly to me. I will put the PayPal link and the Cash App in the description. Um, I don't think I'm going to really be doing much talking in the chat today. Um, so I uh, just want to just apologize in advance if I do not do any chats, chatting in the, uh, uh, the, the premiere today under this premiere. Uh, so just bear with me on that right there. Um, the uh, also click the like button, share, subscribe to your media outlets, click the notification bell so you'll know when I upload content and game streams and everything. And uh, I do appreciate everybody coming in and supporting all those streams. I will be doing the uh, Falcon Saints game on Sunday. Game is at one o'clock. I'll be on air around twelve forty-five or something like that because when it comes to Saints and Falcons, there's always that little extra boost. I want to give a shout out to forty-four the legendary. I saw his video. Uh, still waiting. I saw Algiers. Go over there and check out Algiers. He's doing his uh, promotion for what is his podcast in episode four, number five. Can't wait to see it, my dude. Algiers, welcome back. Glad to have you. Much respect to you, my friend. Um, waiting on Monet504. He said he's going to do something. Telly, I always look forward to seeing him. Uh, old school like myself. Much respect. Um, again, I plan on doing, uh, I was planning on doing a show on Wednesday. Uh, something came up, so I don't really know if I'll be able to do that tomorrow for the Saints podcast. And, you know, I mean, what not Saints podcast, but the show on my channel because I got to take care of the stuff here personally. Um, if I know I have some bets out there uh, with Saints fans, I think 44 and JP, if there's any kind of mini helmet or, or shirt bet, uh, if you want to keep the bet, that's great. Uh, but if you don't, I understand also because it is. Uh, not Drew Brees, and I did the bets based on Drew Brees versus Matt Ryan. Um, so, but if you, so if you don't want to do that bet and you want to do a humili humiliation bet in case Atlanta wins, I totally understand. But just let me know in the comments below and whatnot. But uh, I did write down some Falcon Saints memories and little stuff to to break down uh, the passion of this rivalry. Again, these are Atlanta wins only. I do occasionally will I might occasionally bring up some Saints stuff. Because they have given us some depressing uh, losses throughout the years. If I can uh, bring up a few Saints games that were tough losses. I remember, um, I think it was 2009. I think that was during our 9-7 and seven season. We were still in the playoff hunt. Jason Snelling was the running back. And I think the game was in Atlanta where... We were down just by a couple points and driving to try to take the lead or something to that extent. And we went for it on fourth and one and got stuffed. I remember that one and we lost the game. Um, I remember that one. I remember the uh, hurricane hurricane game or something. No, it was the game on the, I think it was Monday night, where your guy who got hurt and paralyzed or something. Uh, hope he's doing well. I think... That was a blocked punt game to where we just looked, got embarrassed. I, there was no way that we were going to win that game. We got demolished that night. Saints fans, maybe y'all can help me out with that. Um, the Thanksgiving game in Atlanta was a tough one. I couldn't watch it because I had to work really early. But I know we had a chance, numerous chances to win and we lost. Um, that's all that I can remember off the top of my head, but I know we lost quite a bit during the Drew Brees era, and again, shout out to Drew Brees, who's out for two to three weeks, could be more, I don't know, with the broken rib and uh, crushed lung, so I wish Drew Brees a speedy, 
healthy, safe recovery. Uh, I hate to see injury, and and that that kind of it doesn't put a damper on the series or the games because you know there were there were you know obviously Drew Brees came I think in 2006, and I remember the Aaron Brooks days and and uh, Billy Joe Tolliver, Bobby A. Bear days, Jim Everett days. So I, so it's not like I we I haven't been up for it before Drew Brees, but Drew Brees just makes it that much more interesting. And it makes you, like I said prior, it makes beating him feel so much better. Uh, but uh, Jameis Winston, I believe, is, is going to start, should start. And um, But Drew Brees, man, thoughts and prayers, man. Hope you uh, come back real, real soon. Uh, so anyway, the Falcon Saints memories that I have, the uh, Atlanta wins only. Uh, I will say this, though, the overall record, the Falcons lead the series 53-49. Um what would you expect from two teams that came in around the same time? Again, I, I know the Falcons came in the league in 1966. The Saints, I believe, in 67 or maybe even still 66. I'm not quite sure. Um, but and only about five, six hours apart. A lot of tradition with, with, with these, a lot of with the fan bases, a lot of traveling back and forth between Atlanta and New Orleans. Uh, there's parties everywhere. Uh, these are our Super Bowls, no matter how how. Saints fan wants to spin it, or Falcon fan wants to spin it. The ultimate goal is to win the Super Bowl, the Lombardi, at the end of the year. But during the season, you got those two games every year that you circle on the calendar. You make plans, and and it's just a fiesta. It's a it's a jambalaya, crawfish party, uh, boudin up there in New Orleans, and it's a Southern dish uh, down here in Atlanta. Uh, and I, I like I said, I I, I did go up. To the game in 19 I'm sorry in 2015 um that's that's my best memory I'll say that's my best memory I didn't write it down but experience in the game in the series live on that Thursday night where we were undefeated Saints beat us um but just being in New Orleans at that time was a great honor a great thrill being being in the place where Drew Brees was he was playing that game and seeing his his skills his skill set and his talent and the passion live was unbelievable, even in defeat. And, uh, of course, meeting 44, the legendary, in the process. But being in New Orleans, uh, driving that long, long, long bridge to and fro was a memory. Going to Bourbon Street was a memory. Um, the French Quarters, I'm guessing I went to the French Quarters. I went to Bourbon Street when you get off the, the bus and you're walking all the way down bars and clubs all over the place. So... Uh, that was just a memory, looking up at the hotels that are overlooking the Bourbon Street and hearing the music and and the theatricals and even the Falcons. There were still Falcon fans repping their team well there, and it was great to see. Um, would have been much better if we won, obviously, because I had to spend five more days there after we lost. But being on ESPN Studios and the Scott Alexander show was an unbelievable experience that I'll always remember. Thank Jay Orleans and Scott Alexander for making that happen. And the seats I had were really good. Thank you for those seats. Mr. Jay Orleans, hope you're doing well. And you too, Scott Alexander. But that was my best memory, being there and experiencing it live. Now, overall series, again, Atlanta 53-49-0. Uh, 1986 was the first one that I can remember that was really good. Uh, at that time, Atlanta was coming off um, a 1985 season that was not productive. 84 and 85 were actually not that good. We had some good season with Steve Barkowski in the early 80s, uh, but this is where everything started to turn, and the downward for us was the late 80s. Uh, but in this game, uh, Atlanta beat New Orleans 31-10. to That was with quarterback David Archer. David Archer still broadcast the game with West Durham on 92-9 uh, of the game. And that was an impressive win, 31-10. to We started the season 4-0. and A lot of expectations. We beat Dallas in Week 3 in Dallas. Uh, so that was an unbelievable experience. And then we started off, 5-1-1, uh, one and one. we lost to Tampa at home, which was a, sh a, sh a shot here. And then we tied the 49ers. And then that's subsequently we wound up finishing 7-9-1. Seven, nine, seven, nine and one. But the start uh, was a good start. It just did not end well. But that was, an, that was a, a game that was stuck in my head. Uh, 1991 regular season. There's two games in this 91 season. At New Orleans, it was primetime ESPN. Um... And Atlanta won 23-20. to uh, Norb Johnson with the game-winning field goal in that game. I remember that game. I don't remember exactly what happened, but I remember where I was in Miami at the time. And that was a. It was that game ended really late, but 
I stayed up for the whole thing, and it was the too legit to quit era with MC Hammer, you know? Too legit to quit. And then, lo and behold, we played them again in the only playoff appearance between the two teams in a 91 NFC wildcard game at New Orleans. That was the Michael Haynes game, the Deion Sanders, Joe Fishback game. Falcons won that game 27-20 to to advance to the uh, NFC Divisional where we lost to the Redskins. But to play the Saints... In this hated rivalry, and to play them in the playoffs in New Orleans and winning, that's that that's something that cannot be taken away. Uh, I know the Saints won a Super Bowl. That's great. You should be happy about that. We haven't. We've lost two, but to beat our most hated rivalry head to head in a playoff game in New Orleans was something that I will always cherish, and I will always have over you. Uh, Nineteen ninety-five. Um, at Atlanta in overtime, the Falcons won 19-14. to I don't remember really what happened in that game, but I believe if it was 95, it was either Jeff George or Bobby Hebert. I'm not sure, but that was a nice win. And actually, from 1995 to 1999, the Falcons beat the Saints 10 straight times. 10. Okay, so I kind of wish YouTube was going on then. Because the way the Saints are now, especially when Drew Brees first got here, don't 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 forget Atlanta used to dominate y'all, okay? But they want to forget that. But that's okay. That's the rivalry. 2006 to 2013, Drew Brees came in 2006, I believe. The Saints were 11 and five against us, and at one, I mean, it was just domination. I mean, the games, most of the games were really close, but beating Drew Brees was tough. That was the peak of of, of their success. They won the Super Bowl in 2009, which we. Never uh, hear the end of, and um, but congratulations on that again. I mean, winning the Super Bowl is what you want your team to do, cheating or not, but winning that ring is, is what's most important, and you guys got it done. Um, but from that stretch, it was domination, okay? 2010, the one of the wins that we got in that stretch was, a, and it was, I was on YouTube at the time on my first channel, uh, at New Orleans, See, Atlanta wins in New Orleans quite a bit. So, don't, like I said, don't think we can't win there. Atlanta beat New Orleans 27-24 on a Matt Bryan game-winning field goal. I remember it like it was yesterday, and I think the New Orleans Saints guy missed an, ex, an easy extra point. I'm not sure. Like I said, I don't really remember, but I, I do watch the highlights from time to time, but that was a nice thrill. And then, you know, obviously the Saints coming off their Super Bowl year, and we beat them the first time in New Orleans. I was already heavy on YouTube. And that was a great experience right there. In 2014, the Falcons sweep the Saints. 37-34 uh, in Atlanta. I think that was week one, I believe. I'm not sure, but I, I think it was. Uh, and then the second game, 30-14 to in New Orleans. The OC Human Euro fumble returned for the TD. And then consequently, there were fights in the stands. Uh, Saints fans got mad at Falcon fans and started swinging at them or something right along the end zone. But that was great. I was on YouTube. I did a stream of it, laughing, laughing, and laughing. I wish I still would have had that. That was on my old channel. But again, we won in New Orleans. You see the theme? From 2016 to the first game in 2017, Atlanta won three straight, which means another win in New Orleans. I think the Saints won that last game in 2017. And then in 2019, last year, right after the bye week, which we're off the bye week now at New Orleans, Drew Brees played in the game. Falcons won 26-9. Grady Jarrett, the defense, was dominant. And, um, yeah, that was an impressive win. It kind of got us on a couple-game winning streak, kind of got some positive uh, uh, momentum going. We beat New Orleans on the road. And the, next, the following week, we beat the Panthers on the road. And then we let one get away at home against Tampa. Uh, to me, that right there was an opportunity to kind of right the ship, which is kind of like where we're at now. So these are my memories of the Falcons and Saints. Any Saints fans, if you guys have any memories of your best games, you can put your wins, comment below. Even any Falcon wins, you can comment below. Um, any other Falcon fans, what are some of your, uh, your greatest Saints Falcons moments. Um, but like I said, for me, the, 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 the most the special moment, again, that I take from the Saints-Falcons game was being at it live. There was, again, I can't stress how important that was in my life at that time. I can't stress how, 
how it felt to actually be in New Orleans. Um, just being around what the city was and what the rivalry was all about. It was great. Uh, I tried to contact a couple Saints fans. I wish that they could have made it. That would have been nice. Um, but, you know, despite the loss, it was unbelievable to be there um, in New Orleans. So that's, these are, those are my Falcons, Saints game memories, wins for Atlanta. A lot of other ones sprinkled in there. But, you know, they're in the 80s when we won those 10 straight. I mean, from 95 to 99, you know, I'm not going to go all over that. You know, and then in the 80s, we had some stretches, too. Um, but I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready for the game. I need the game right now for reasons. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be a good one. Should be a good one. Jameis Winston. Um, I'll, break down, I'll break down my thoughts on the game later in the week. Um, so I will put my thoughts down later in the week on that maybe on friday or saturday we'll see how that goes um so but anyways guys thank you very much for uh, spending time in the premiere i appreciate all you guys and girls who who look forward to the premieres and who take time out of your day to come into the premieres i will do another live stream before i'll try to do another live stream before the game sunday maybe saturday night I'll do a late live stream. I don't know. Um, I just got some focus that I got to take care of right now. That's most important. And um, um, so, anyways, hope you guys have a great Tuesday. Again, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Click the like button. It really helps the channel out. Share it to all your media outlets. It helps the growth of my channel. And is obviously uh, click the notification bell so you'll know when all my content is uploaded because trust me you will enjoy it for those who enjoy it now it's just going to keep getting better for those who are new you're in for a treat i'm a passionate atlanta sports fan i love this team love the calgary flames obviously calgary stampeders i wanted to rep them because uh, they match it also with the color because uh, i do like i said i have a, on the bucket list is to go to calgary i'm gonna try to see if i can make it happen next year uh during the hockey season or the uh football season Preferably the hockey season, because I really want to see a Flames game. Um, so I'm going to look at that, see how things transpire about that. So un uh, until the next time, everybody have a great Tuesday. Hump day is tomorrow. Be safe. Love your family. Love your friends. Don't take them for granted. Please, uh, when they're with you, just keep, you know, go over there and give them a hug. Tell your parents, your brothers, your sisters that you love them. And uh, spend time with them. So Sports Live and ATL. And I'll see you in the next one.